So our next question type is course of action. Now what's a course of action? A course of action is, you know, sequence of activities or a possible plan, right? Which is taken for improvement or follow up or further action in regards to a problem on the basis of the information given in the statement. So you will have a statement followed by two courses of action. So we have to assume everything in the statement is true and then decide which course of action will logically follow suit. So let's take a look at this example right here. So our statement is some of the Indian star players have reportedly expressed reservation about touring state X to security reasons following the terrorist threats. This is our statement. So we assume that all of this is true. Now let's look at our two courses of action. The first course of action says Indian Cricket Board should send a delegation to state X to assess the situation in the various venues where the matches are to be played. That's the first course of action. The second course of action it says the tour should be postponed immediately. Now we have to see what can be the logical course of action that should be taken so that there is a solution to the problem, right? That's the end result. So if you look at the statement, are all of the Indian star players having a problem? No, some of them. Okay, so keep that in mind. Also, we know what the reason is. There have been some terrorist threats, so they don't want to take a chance, right? So they're expressing reservation about going to that particular state. We understand the premise. Let's look at our first course of action. Indian Cricket Board should send a delegation to state X to assess the situation in the various venues where the matches are to be played. Now in this first course of action, it proves to be pretty logical, right? Some of them have expressed this. We still value that and we still want to check if the current situation is continuing to pose a threat or not. So the best logical or possible solution for this particular situation is to send someone to assess the situation. This seems like a very logical thing to do. But the second course of action, the tour should be postponed immediately. I don't think it serves a purpose or it's actually bringing in a solution to the situation at hand. Right? One is because unless and until without verification, knowing what the current status is, why would you want to postpone the tour? It might incur a lot of cost and time. Right? We don't want to do that. That's not a very logical solution. So I'm going to go with one. Remember our options are only course of action one follows or option two only course of two follows or action three either course, course of action one or course of action two or option four neither of them and option five both. So for this situation I'm going to go with option one which is only the first course of action applies or follows logically provided the situation in the statement. Okay, let's look at our next statement. So our next statement, the concert by Brian Adams scheduled for Saturday evening is expected to see roads in and around XYZ Stadium in City X, witnessing heavy traffic between 4 p.m. and midnight. Again, we assume each of these to be true, right, from the statement. Let's look at our first course of action. For that period, commuters should be diverted to other roads. Okay, any language, words, hampering meaning, what are commuters? Commuters are people who travel either by bike or car, right? Commuting means traveling, whatever transport that you use. How do you commute? I commute by bus or train or bike, right? Second course of action, considering the large gathering, there should be alternative management of parking the vehicles. So we have these two courses of action. Again, we'll have to see which one of these two is logically, uh, you know, should take place, right? Or only one, or only two, or either one or two, or neither one or two, or both, right? Now, given the situation at hand, when there is something happening, a major event happening at a particular place, it only makes logical sense for you to direct the traffic, you know, to other areas, so there's not much of congestion happening there. So, the first one looks pretty logical. The second one, Again, keeping in mind that there is going to be a large gathering at that place, you will have to make sure that is there is enough space for parking. 
right? What if that venue does not, will not be able to hold that huge gathering? Then you have to look at alternate measures. And that's exactly what the second course of action says. Considering the large gathering, there should be alternative management of parking the vehicles. So if you see, both these courses of action logically follow suit. Given the statement, on the basis of what we have in the statement, right? Both these two courses of action will logically apply. So for me, I'm going with option 5 where both 1 and 2 will logically follow suit given the situation at hand. Alright? Let's move to our next statement. Our next statement here states, the hygienic condition of the city X is not good. Polythenes and garbage are littered all over. Alright, so this is our statement. Let's look at our first course of action. The hygienic condition of the city X is a problem which has been persisting over a long time and can't be improved immediately. Alright. Our second course of action, NGOs and Nagar Nigam should start a cleanliness movement. Now this is a pretty simple one, right? We already know what a course of action is. A course of action is a possible plan. Now if you look at the first course of action, it is not even a course of action. It's just reiterating the statement, giving me extra information for how long it's been happening without a possible plan. There's no plan here. It just reiterates the statement. But on the other hand, the course of action 2 very clearly gives me a plan. What's the plan? I think NGOs and Nagar Nigam should start a cleanliness movement. Now, this is setting some sequence of activities that are that will help the situation. Now this is the logical plan, right? So for me, from the options, I know immediately that only option 2 will fit the bill. Right? So if you ask me, option 2 is the logical course of action to follow based on the information that we have in the statement. Let's move to our next statement. Our next statement, a phone was received at the district control office from an anonymous person that there was a deadly bomb in the secretariat. This is our statement. Now, again, anonymous, anonymous means somebody unknown, right? Somebody. Let's look at our first course of action. Bomb diffusing squad should be sent immediately. Second course of action, the authority should not give any heed to this type of hoax. What's a hoax? A hoax is like a practical joke, yeah, a trick. Somebody played a prank. That's a hoax. Now, we need to see again what's the possible plan, right, based on the information that we have in the statement. Now, if we look at the first course of action, bomb diffusing squad should be sent immediately. Now, irrespective of whether it is true or not, you don't want to take the risk, right? If you receive an anonymous phone call like this, whether because you don't want to take a risk, you want to go ahead and do this, which is to check to assess the situation, right? So this seems like a more logical plan. But the second one, the authority should not give any heed to this type of folks. Now we can't make any assumptions when something as critical as this happens, right? Again, like I said, you can't take a risk. So this does not seem like a logical course of action. You cannot ignore something as critical as a phone call stating there is a deadly bomb. You can't ignore that. So the first course of action applies and follows suit logically based on the information provided to us in the statement. Let's look at one more statement. Our final statement for course of action. The epidemic of porno websites is spreading in India and thus harming Indian youths by degrading their moral and ethical values. So we assume all of this to be true. Epidemic spreading extensively, rapidly, right? Like an outbreak, uncontrollable. Okay, let's look at our first course of action. Cabin facilities should not be given to internet users. Okay. Our second course of action, porno sites should not be allowed to be free sites. Now let's address the first course of action. Cabin facility should not be given to internet users. Basically what they mean is a secluded cabin. Now generally, you know, the mindset of people is if I have to do something that I don't want anybody to see, it becomes easier for me to do it if it's in a secluded place. Right? Like in closed rooms. So, but it is less likely for me to do something wrong when I'm open to public. Public can see me and they can judge me. So I wouldn't do that. So this seems like a logical plan. Right? When I don't give you a secluded cabin, which means people sitting next to you can see what sites you're opening. Less likely that you would open this site. Okay? Second course of action. Pono sites should not be allowed to be free sites. 
This also seems logical. Why? Because anything free you don't think twice. You add a cost to it, there is a pinch, right? You feel the pinch. Am I spending a little too much on this? Is it required? Right? And you think twice before and some people don't even have the money to spend. Like school kids will not have the money to go ahead and watch these things. Right? So this seems like a very, very logical course of action for me. So I would say, given the statement that we have, right, both these course of actions would be logical. Right? So here ends course of action. Let's look at our next question type, which is cause and effect.